Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this video is going to be Season 13 Leaderboard Wrap-Up Analysis and Breakdown, kind of covering how everything on the leaderboards kind of finished in Season 13, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is just kind of start at the top, and I'm going to work my way down class by class to break down all the information that you'd want to know about wrapping up the leaderboard. So let's just start on Crusader, Softcore was won by SC Residuals with a GR125. And if we look at the information here, 3,894 Paragon running, this looks like the Akan Condemn build. And SC Residuals played 15.0 hours a day. So let's switch it over to Hardcore. And it's going to be H and H Morbus with a GR 119. So hardcore was six GR levels behind softcore on the Crusader, and Morbus was also using the Akan Condemn build with 2,834 Paragon. So about a thousand less Paragon than the softcore player, and Morbus played 7.8 hours a day. So let's go down to Demon Hunter. This is. SC Nestle, I mean, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong and somebody will correct me down in the comments, but yeah, so softcore Demon Hunter was GR 115. And if we look at the other information, it's Paragon 2923 running the mixture of the Natalia Marauder build with cluster arrows. And Nestle Amin played 6.8 hours a day, and that's actually really good. To win a softcore leaderboard with only 6.8 hours a day, this player is very efficient and did a very good job in Season 13. Switch it over to hardcore. We've got NCG FFILCC, which is actually Cliff backwards. So was GR110. Demon Hunter was five GR levels behind on hardcore compared to softcore, and they were running also the Natalia Marauder build with cluster arrows. Now the Paragon was 2,873, and Cliff played 8.0 hours a day. So the softcore and hardcore were pretty comparable in build hours per day and Paragon. But the Hardcore Demon Hunter was five GR levels behind on Softcore just because, you know, without being able to play through that proc as often is going to make it much tougher to clear those GRs. So now let's go down to Monk. And Softcore Monk was SC Avada Cadavra with a 119. And it looks like the build was Sunwoko wave of light and paragon 3449 now avada cadabra played 14.5 hours a day and if we switch over to hardcore we've got ncg nemesis finishing with a 113 3275 paragon and nemesis also did the sunwoko wave of light build Nemesis played 10.7 hours a day. So if we compare the softcore and the hardcore monks, Paragons were kind of similar. Nemesis played about four hours a day less than the hardcore monk and finished six GR levels behind. Let's go to Necromancer. Softcore is Vision Silphazarus and... It's going to be Paragon 3,958 running the Pestilence, Simulacrum, Corpse Lance, Necro. And Sylphazarus played 18.5 hours a day. So that's putting in a lot of hours last season. Finishing with the 122 on the Necromancer leaderboard. Let's switch it over to Hardcore. NCG Dis who is the Michael Jordan of Diablo, in my opinion. <laughs> Finished three levels ahead of everybody else on Hardcore with a 120, only two levels behind the Softcore Necromancer. Dis had a Paragon of 3,074, also running Pestilence Corpse Lance, 
and disc played 8.9 hours a day. So only two GR levels behind the softcore Necromancer and played significantly less than half the time. Well, no, I guess about half the time. 8.9 hours a day versus 18.5. So about exactly half as many hours as the softcore Necromancer. Now let's switch it over to Witch Doctor. And softcore Witch Doctor is SC Boogeyman with a 115. If we look at the details, we've got 3005 Paragon and running the Sacred Harvester, Helltooth build, Gargantuan and Zombie Dogs, Piranhas, Wall of Death. And Boogeyman played 13 hours a day in season 13. Switched over to hardcore. NCG Dis finished as the number one witch doctor with a GR 112. If we look at the details here. It actually looks like a different build than the softcore one. This is the Eric Hears, but still with the Sacred Harvester. It looks like the Firebat build. Okay. The softcore one was a little bit different. Yeah, it wasn't fire bats. So that's kind of cool to see a little bit of diversity between softcore and hardcore. But anyway, DIS was 3,023 Paragon at the time of this clear. And as I stated before, DIS played 8.9 hours a day last season. Witch Doctor had three levels of disparity between softcore and hardcore. And the last solo class is Wizard. It's going to be Vision Sylphazarus again. And GR123 was the level there. Paragon 4088 at the time of this clear. And it was a Firebird Death Wish Meteor build. And as I said before, Sylphazarus played 18.5 hours a day last season. If we switch it over to Hardcore, Diss has also won this one. So this is the third Hardcore leaderboard that NCG Diss has won. And he's actually five GR levels ahead of number two with a GR 118 on the Hardcore Wizard. If we look at the details, Paragon 3070 at the time of this clear with the Firebird. Now, this one also has the Meteor. Yeah, okay, so like a Firebird Meteor, meteor build here and displayed 8.9 hours a day last season. The discrepancy between Softcore and Hardcore was five GR levels. Softcore was 123 and hardcore was 118. Now, really quick, let's just take a look at the four player everyone's always curious about. It looks like SC was your top clan on softcore. They ran the Barbarian, Wizard, Monk, and Necro. I expect it to be the same on hardcore. NCG was your winning team in the four man Barbarian, Necro, Monk, Wizard. Barbarian. Necro Monk Wizard. Yeah, so pretty much the same on softcore and hardcore for the four person clears. And yeah, that pretty much covers what I wanted to go over on the leaderboards. I just kind of wanted to do a quick all encompassing video for everybody to do a breakdown of how the leaderboards shook out in season 13. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.